Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another paper crafting video tutorial. Today we are going to be creating this beautiful, bold daisy frame card using brand new products from the Simon Says Stamp Celebrate release. This is part of the April 2024 release and it is chock full of amazing products. The Main component of today's card is the beautiful daisy oval frame, which I have die cut the majority of the elements from white cardstock, but a few things from some colored cardstock as well for a beautiful, nice contrast. One of the things I love about starting my die cut pieces with a colored cardstock as opposed to white is that you don't have to do quite as much blending or as much work to get or build up that color. On the center of the daisies, I did do some brown ink in the color mocha. Then I have die cut these leaves from Lawn Fawn Cilantro cardstock, and I'm going to ink these up with a little bit of the field color of ink using a small round blending brush. I love these small round blending brushes from Simon Says Stamp for small detailed inking of little die cut pieces or all kinds of things. They are phenomenal. I am working on a glass mat today, which makes cleanup super easy. Now there are lots of little leaves in this daisy frame set. Not shown here today and not used is actually a smaller oval frame that fits within the oval frame of this daisy frame, which you can use them together or separate. I opted to use them separate, or not separately, I opted not to use the oval for this card, but I love that there is that component. In addition to one of the large daisy frames, I will off camera die cut two additional of that large frame so that I can stack them one on top of another. Once I have my leaves and the center of my flowers inked, it's time to ink the florals for the card. Now this has lots of really fun building components for this card design, which make it, makes it so that you can really kind of mix and match. In the center of the flowers, I'm again taking a small round blending brush and some honey ink, and I am inking up the center of the flowers, not going quite all the way out to the outer edge, but more keeping that color concentrated in the center and just kind of going barely, you know, almost to, but not completely to the outer edge of the petal. We'll be layering those florals over the main frame. Then the small flowers included in this set, I did die cut from Sticky Note Lawn Fawn cardstock, which is a nice pale yellow cardstock. Now, originally I thought I would leave them kind of as is, then I tried inking just the center, then just the outer part of the petals, and ultimately I actually opted to ink the whole thing with the honey ink. Again, having the base color of the sticky note cardstock kind of means you don't have to add quite as much. And then once I ink them, I am going to squish them or wad them up into little balls. Um, we're going to give these florals texture. That's going to have kind of that wrinkly, crinkly texture that I think is going to look amazing on the finished card. This is something I used to do kind of back in the day, um, even back in the day of scrapbooking that I haven't done in a while. And it was one of those techniques, I guess, that popped into my head when I was looking at this, trying to think of something fun to do with the small flowers. And I can see myself doing this more. Um, I kind of have missed it. I love it. I used to have tons of these little pre-made florals and I just made my own here. So that works great. Now, once we have all of the components and I do end up doing uh, six of those small yellow flowers, we are going to be ready to start pulling it all together. And really so far, the only new product that I have used is the daisy frame. That is the main design of my card, but we are going to pull in sentiments. We're going to pull in a background stencil and we are also going to pull in new embellishments and a new ink color. So 
still a lot of brand new products to feature as well as some previously released favorites and wonderful, amazing tools. So again, I'm just wadding up all of these little yellow flowers and then kind of, you know, unfolding them and laying them out onto my card. Now, when you die cut the daisy oval frame, it does die cut that center piece out, which I did save. Now, because I die cut three of these frames to stack one on top of another, I actually have three extra. And let's just say it's a good thing because the first one doesn't get lined up exactly correctly, which it's kind of as I like to remind myself, it's just paper. So first we're going to take this beautiful dark navy cardstock. This is the color Nautical from Hero Arts. And I am going to take this new stencil from Simon Says Stamp called the Dash and Dot. And we're going to place it over the background. I am going to secure this to my magnetic glass surface with some magnets. And then I have the Picket Fence Pouncer, and I am using this to pick up the white Simon Says Stamp pigment ink and pounce this all over the surface or the front of my card. Now, I purposely didn't go out to the outer edges. However, I did notice that I didn't quite love how it looked. The great thing about stencils is you can go back line it up with what you've previously stenciled and redo anything that maybe you don't love. So I am going to go ahead and do that and just grab my pouncer and add a little extra ink along that left side. That looks much better. Now, I think that looks awesome. You guys know if you followed me for a while, I love some sort of a subtle decorative background. So, so far we have a little bit of the dash and dot stencil with white pigment ink, always a favorite. We're gonna have the daisy oval frame layered on top. But as I'm looking at my background, another thing that I know you see me do quite a bit here on my channel is add some text to the background. That doesn't always have to be with a background text stamp. That is one of my favorite ways, but today we're actually going to take a sentiment from the Just a Note stamp set, and we are going to stamp this with first, second, and third generation stamping all over the panel. First, second, and third generation stamping, first generation generation stamping is when you ink up your stamp and stamp it right onto your project. Second generation is when you stamp it again without re-inking. And of course, third generation is that third time. There may even be an appearance of a fourth generation stamping. It just gets lighter and more of that kind of ghosting effect. And I am stamping just a note to say hello all over my panel. Um, off of the edges in places just to give a really fun, subtle text look. You can achieve this with all kinds of sentiments in your collection, and it always gives fantastic results. Next, you can see that I do have my additional uh, daisy oval frames. I am using the Spellbinders tool, the little rolling tool to help pop out any of those pieces that may be stuck. And then we're going to simply take our glue press, draw a little line of glue all over our frames and glue them one on top of another. Now you wouldn't necessarily need to do this. I love to kind of have different dimensions, especially if they can be somewhat subtle. And in this case, the frame is going to be a little chunkier. It's going to be three layers. And then the oval with our sentiments is going to be that single layer adhered flat within or inlaid into the daisy oval frame. Now my fingers were pretty inky here and I did notice that on that second layer, when I touched my frame, I got some yellow ink on it. So I did try to be a little bit more careful with this third one since this was the one going on top. Using that acrylic block that I used to stamp the text background, I am just kind of squishing those layers together before I take my glue, add glue to the back of my stacked frames and attach it right to my background. And look how amazing that's going to look. And again, just using my acrylic block to kind of help push it down in place. 
Now without adding adhesive, I'm going to lay my oval in place and I'm going to add one of the flowers, the flower down at the bottom. Just that center part is where I'm going to glue it. And the reason being is I need to see how far up to put my sentiment from the Just a Note stamp set. Now, once I have that, I did take the oval out of my card, place it in the Misty and ink it up with the Night Ink. The reason I left this in is I did not get this straight. This is where I said earlier that because I did die cut multiple frames, I had some extra pieces of white cardstock. And as I lay that in, I'm glad I didn't put glue on it and I'm looking at it, it's tilted slightly to the right. And I was really unhappy. So let's go ahead, place our card panel into our Misty, inlay that oval background. I did clean my stamp. We're going to reline it up and stamp it again. And I am much happier with the results this time. This is the new night color of ink. The new trio is beautiful blues, kind of moody, um, very beautiful shades of blue. I absolutely love them and it matches that nautical background perfectly. I love the navy and yellows together on this card. I think it's just a stunning result. We're going to glue the flower center down and then we're going to add our other flower up at the top. So it basically is kind of a mirror image of each other. Now I'm not going to necessarily continue that mirror image trend. Um, we're going to tuck the leaves wherever I feel like they fit the best, but then the little yellow flowers will be scattered throughout and then we'll add some additional embellishments. I'm using some tweezers to easily be able to pick up and place my leaves where they go. There's a couple of ways that you can choose to do the leaves. You can layer them underneath so that it'll have the white outline and the leaf will peek out. I had laid it out off camera previously and I did like that look, but ultimately I decided I kind of wanted to be able to tuck the leaves underneath the edge of the flower a little bit and have more of the green showing than the white, just to kind of break up all of the white on my card design. I'm gonna keep moving these around. I do believe I ended up die cutting another set of leaves. I needed a few more maybe big ones and a couple or one extra little one, something like that. Just whatever it I needed here to make it work. Now, if you when you look at this, you will notice there are quite a few little small spaces where little leaves can go and I want to fill all of those in. The more greenery I add, the more I can start to really see this take shape and I am loving how this looks. I am always a big fan of all of the die cut things. So this was super, super fun. And we're just gonna keep building adding all of the little green pieces. I am using liquid glue to attach all of the dies. I wanna make sure that they stay put and don't try to move anywhere. Doesn't the yellow look so pretty against that navy? The background is so fun. Another thing that you could do before attaching your daisy oval frame, if you are someone who loves a little extra distress, you could add spatter with white gouache, paint, um, some of your favorite sparkly watercolors or foundry wax, all kinds of great things um, for a little bit more of a distressed look. So I've added one of these small yellow crinkly flowers laying up there at the top and that to me is just adding lots of extra texture plus that deeper honey color. Even though we used honey on the center of the daisy flowers, the little flowers were they started with a light yellow cardstock so they do get a little bit more of that mustardy color is kind of what I consider that. Now I am die cutting some extra leaves at this point as I mentioned a minute ago I noticed that I just quite didn't have everything I needed. I have my blending brush still out I didn't even really need to re-ink it. I'm just going to use whatever ink was left on here to add some extra 
color to my leaves and tuck those few extra pieces in. Once we have that, I think that large and the small is what I did, we're gonna add those yellow flowers and embellish. Now the Just a Note stamp set is a six by eight stamp set with tons of amazing sentiments that work for the front and inside of your card. There is a Just a Note stamped greeting that is larger than all of the phrases that you could use to stamp, or there is the Just a Note die set that coordinates with. I opted to use the die set. I like the combination of a die cut sentiment and a stamp sentiment together for lots of amazing texture. I'm going to keep playing with my flowers, positioning them, and this is really where I don't want my images to exactly mirror each other. I think for visual interest, it's going to look a little bit more fun to not have them perfectly mirrored. Um, and I am tucking them kind of here and there, only putting glue in the center so that the crinkly bits can still be a little bit crinkly. So that looks pretty amazing. I am loving how the card is looking. I need to figure out the placement for that last little flower. Mm, it's a little too matchy matchy to the left side. I think I'm just going to move it up a little bit. I was kind of on the right track to begin with, but just shifting it up a teeny tiny bit, I think I like a little better. Now to balance this out even more, we will be adding some gems and some amazing new sequins. Let's take the Just a Note die and I am going to cut it apart with some wire snips from the shadow and we will only be using the greeting part and not the shadow for our card today. I think that's going to fit really nicely. Um, it doesn't need the shadow and we're going to die cut this from some gold matte cardstock. The gold is very nicely going to tie in to the yellow that we're going to use for the gemstones, I think. So in a Simon Says Stamp triangle tray, I do have some of the new Warm Tones Dazzling Gems. I'm using the embellishment wand to easily pick up these gems and pop them into the center of my flowers for a little bit of sparkle and shine. I absolutely love the Dazzling Gems. They are one of my favorite embellishment products from Simon Says Stamp. I'm looking for another teeny tiny yellow one and that looks great. I'm going to funnel these back into the storage container and move on to the flat sequins. These are another new product from the Celebrate release. And we are going to scatter these kind of around our floral arrangement and around our frame. They're going to add extra sparkle, extra shine, and we're really just embellishing up this card. So I'm using my glue press to add little dabs of glue here and there. The embellishment wand is being used again to easily pick these sequins up and pop them in place. Once I have a nice balance at the top and the bottom of my design, then I am going to add my die cut sentiment and place the entire panel on a white top fold card base to finish the card design but I definitely wanna make sure that I balance it with enough of these sequins at the top as well as on the bottom. And I love how these little embellishments fill in a floral design so perfectly. Using my tweezers, because once you die cut your greeting, it is pretty delicate, I'm going to lay them out, then add some glue and glue these right down in place. I just love how the die cut sentiment looks next to the stamped phrase. We're gonna add the rest of our greeting. Make sure that's all nice and flat. I could see doing a whole set of note cards just like this in any of your favorite colors. This just says summer and happiness to me, which I feel like summer is coming up right around the corner. So now that I'm happy with this, we're going to take one of my favorite Simon Says Stamp top fold card bases. We're gonna flatten it, add some adhesive all over the front of our card. Pop that right in place. 
And the final thing that we're going to do today is take glossy accents and place it right in the center of the daisies. You're going to need to let that glossy accents or whatever liquid product you like to use for dimension sit and dry and you want it to sit flat and dry so that it doesn't run anywhere. This is going to give a glossy raised center to the flowers, making them beautiful, prominent, and oh so fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this beautiful daisy oval frame card featuring Simon Says Stamp Celebrate Release products from the April 2024 release. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today for another paper crafting tutorial. I love being able to share with this incredible community of crafters. I want to give a huge shout out and special thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you're interested in joining Patreon, please click the link in the description underneath the video here on YouTube. Patreon is a private community where you can support more of what I do. There is exclusive content, information, and behind the scenes content. Top tier members will receive a handmade birthday card during your birthday month, access to DStash, and monthly exclusive lives, plus so much more. We would love to have you join our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new paper crafting video or I go live. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you next time.